What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So today is another Mercedes C300 video. Um, if you have the M274 engine in your Mercedes, uh, even some of the other models use the same engine, but you might have ran into the recent pull over, leave engine running warning on the dash. So uh, in theory, if you have no experience with vehicles or you have no idea what you're looking at, uh, the car is telling you to pull over so that the battery can charge. So usually a alternator is in charge of charging your electrical system while the car is running. So if it uh, something goes wrong with the alternator, your battery is not charging and thus it's depleting your battery charge. So the car is telling you to pull over to reduce the electrical load on the battery so that it can charge. So usually a quick Google search will tell you that after 15 minutes it should go away. If yours does not go away then you have a bigger problem. So I'm about to spit a couple of different scenarios at you and a couple different troubleshooting things that you might run into and think, well, maybe it's this one, maybe it's this one, but I'm gonna help you make an educated decision on what you should replace. So <clears throat> first and foremost, what I would recommend if you have no electrical tools whatsoever is take your vehicle to a local uh, auto parts store and have them test your battery. <clears throat> Now here's the catch. Do not have them test your battery while it's hooked up to the car. Disconnect the battery from the car and isolate it 100%. I will tell you this because I have experience in exactly what I just told you. So the car has an auxiliary battery that will help this battery uh, and it will fake a test. So if you have an electronic tester it's going to fake that electronic tester into thinking that the battery is good. So when I first had the issue, I put my Snap-on uh, uh, battery system tester on the battery and it tested at 96%. So I said, surely can't be the battery. I had it hooked up to the car. So then I took a power probe. Um, you can use a multimeter and um, you measure the, the voltage across the battery. Now I was getting 14.8 volts up to 15 volts AC. So I said, well, we have good charging, we have good power coming out of the alternator. So then I decided that I would hook up my oscilloscope and I wanted to see whether or not I was getting AC power and DC power out of the alternator. And I was. So there is a threshold of AC power or alternating current power that can come out of an alternator. So uh, I was right on the, on the edge of what I considered to be a, uh, you know, a reasonable output for the AC. So this should not give you uh, alternating current whatsoever, should give you nothing but DC voltage, but some makes it by. There's a rectifier on this. It's supposed to turn the alternating current made by the made by the, the stator and the winder, all that stuff, it's supposed to turn it into direct current for your battery. So I was getting both. So I was like, where do I go with this? So I called my buddy who's a service advisor and I told him, hey, this is what I got. I think the alternator's bad. And he said, I'm not telling you that you're wrong, but your troubleshooting may be a little uh, backwards because we haven't replaced many alternators, maybe one or two at this dealership all year long. So. I was like, well, maybe I'm the third. So I went ahead and uh, ordered an alternator. Well, I changed the alternator because I wanted to obviously do a removal and replacement video for you guys, but the problem was not the alternator. So if I would have disconnected my battery from the very beginning, disconnected it from the car and tested it, it tested at a whopping 46% of its capability. So that auxiliary battery was masking the problem that I had. It was simply a dead battery um, that was just no longer uh, given the fight. So I had five years in the battery. It turned out that that's all it was, was the battery. So I spent $420 on an alternator when I could have just spent the $180 on a brand new battery. But you live and you learn. I troubleshot it to the best of my ability. I saw that it was giving me, uh, you know, it was giving me power, but it was kind of mixed. And I really thought that it was just overcharging my battery. Well, 
the auxiliary battery was uh, masking my problem. So I wanted to give this, uh, give this video out to you guys as a public service announcement. Don't do what I did and just shotgun the battery or shotgun the alternator. Check your battery. If you go to the auto parts store, have them disconnect it from the car so that you can isolate the battery itself. Now, if you're asking about the auxiliary battery, the auxiliary battery is um, just a small little battery in the footwell of the passenger seat, but it will tell you if the auxiliary battery is bad. So that's a whole separate warning on the dash. It says auxiliary battery uh, issue or auxiliary battery failed So or replace. I don't know exactly what it says. I've never seen the warning in my car uh, and I'm not really gonna Google it to see what it says, but the auxiliary battery has a separate warning. So uh, just keep that in mind. I hope this helps you guys uh, in your troubleshooting with this uh, with this warning, it should be standard across all vehicles, not just this one. If you're uh, getting the warning, uh, you can do a couple troubleshooting steps, but ultimately you can go and simply have somebody test your battery and see if it's that. Um, they're also able to test your alternator, so most auto parts stores will have the equipment. But in this case, a fancy tester and fancy equipment that I have around here at the Durban compound uh, proved inefficient. And well, I thought that it was here and it was not just a simple battery. So I hope this, uh, I hope this helps. Give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And stick around to the channel because we're doing things like this all the time. I think next upcoming is an update from ProSoap. If you haven't heard of the most awesome hand cleaner in the entire world, you need to check out my video on ProSoap coming out soon. So see you guys in the next video.